who is supporting me. So, now see that. What do you see? What your mind sees? Me, background, huh? other people, some thoughts. They are all images in the mind. Pay attention. We are picking up uh, which sutra? Fifth sutra. Which says the contents of the thoughts are either painful or not painful. And they are of five classifications. Every thought. Thought here and there. Are you looking at me? Answer is yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. These are the images takes place in the mind. Image. Image come and go. Images in the mirror come in the come and go. Just remember. Just remember this. You wake up in the morning, the mind is awake and it picks up the images. All these images are known as the thoughts, feeling, sensations, pain, pleasure, duality, conflict, relationship, color, anxiety, stress, duality, conflict. What I'm saying? Just become aware that they are the images in the mind. Sam was explaining going for an interview, anxious, that is also an image. Nothing more than that image. And the moment you are aware of that inside you, even if you have tremendous commitment, like my dear friend, you are free from it. This is what I'm saying, contemplation and reflection. Now tell me, which one is greater, practice or knowledge? One guy asked my master that which one is greater, practice or knowledge? Practice and knowledge. Thank you, thank you, David and Jerry. I was waiting for you. Waiting for you. So which one is greater? I was waiting for you. So which one is greater, practice or knowledge? Practice. Raise, save one, knowledge, say two, which one is greater? So then I will tell you the answer, my practice is greater. Practice is, do you practice it? <laughs> do you practice regularly? Now see the difference in terms of the Eastern wisdom. No doubt practice is greater but the knowledge is neither greater nor lower. Knowledge is knowledge. Whether I know Lara or I do not know Lara, Lara will remain Lara. Knowledge of the Nara, Lara will remain. Knowledge of the Stephen will remain Stephen. Knowledge of the David will remain knowledge. Isn't it? Whether I know David or I don't know David. The knowledge as such will remain. The knowledge is neither greater nor lower. Nor lower. Can I become aware of this fact? Based on this fact, what is the knowledge? What is the knowledge? What the master says? Now understand what this Patanjali is saying. Vrata yaha panchata yaha kleshta a kleshta. What is the meaning of contemplation? First understand the meaning. It says Vritti. Vritti means thought, behavior, attitude, feeling, anxiety, stress, duality, pleasure. All the contents of the mind is nothing but known as vritti. Second is, it is panchatayaha. It is fivefold. Why the master says it is fivefold? We have to find an answer. Kleshta a kleshta. What it says? Either these thought, behavior, attitude are either painful or not painful. 
this we have to understand and we have to see how we can apply this in our life. Day to day. Here and now. What do you see? You see me. You see the background. You see other people. Huh? You feel your body. Isn't it? The mind says, I'm comfortable. I'm okay. I'm listening to it. Mind says, no, my mind is distracted. All these are images in the mind. These are known as vratti. Uh, these are known as what is seen by the mind. Can I become aware of the all the time? What is seen by the mind? What is felt by the mind? What is experienced by the mind? Here and now, commitment, that is also a thought. No commitment, that is also a thought. Do you see that? Once you become aware of all the thoughts, behavior, attitude, all 24 by 7, just do this week from today, just become aware. They are all images happening in the mind. Now the word vratti. Vratti, it comes from the word vrat. Vrat means circle. Circle means ah, the wheels of a car constantly moving around a, around a center. And what is that center? Once you understand the center, you understand why the thoughts are coming. What is the center? Center are six what are those centers are six desire liking and pleasure desire pain desire disliking and pain now understand the sutra. What he says, all the thoughts are either painful or non-painful. Do you see me? It's a neutral perception. So there is no pain. There is also no pleasure. But whatever the words that I am conveying to you causes a kind of a pleasure. But what is the cause of all the six? The cause of all the sex is ignorance, avidya. This is why the master is saying vratti means these thoughts are constantly repetitive. In earlier days we used to have DVD. DVD moves in a circle. So whatever is recorded in that DVD cannot be erased. Now we have those uh, re-recording is there, but in earlier days, the same way the mind revolves around the circle. And that revolving around the circle is the content of the DVD. It is not the DVD. It is the content of the mind. Can I become aware? Can I be just become aware? Anxiety comes, image. Pleasure comes, image. Oh, it is an image in the mind. You start playing with the mind. I can tell you, this week, just try this. You start playing with the mind. Commitment, distraction, they are the content in the mind. Separate them. They are not the DVD. Why? So he is pointing the nature of the mind. Can you tell me what is the color of mind? Why I say images? There is no color of the mind. The mind is colorless. So when the mind sees the blue color, it becomes blue. Are you getting it? When it sees the anxiety, it becomes anxious. When it sees the excitement, it becomes excited. 
What is the weight of the mind? No weight. It takes the shape. It takes the color. It takes the caste. It takes the gender. It takes the... So our masters say that artha abhyasa. Abhyasa means practice. And artha means meaning. The mind takes the shape of what it understands. There is no anxiety. Mind takes the shape of anxiety. There is no reaction. Mind takes the shape of a reaction. The mind is not colorful. Mind takes the shape of the color it sees. So that color also includes anxiety, duality, conflict, etc., 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 etc. Mind takes the shape of ignorance and it becomes ignorant. That is why in the last session, I think we discussed that the mind is like a mirror. Can I simply become aware? First you become aware. You are anxious or oh, mind has taken the shape of anxiety and smile and see what happens. Every day, here and now, just say that the mind is focused. That is why it is focused on what I am speaking. <laughs> Do you see that? This is what Patanjali is saying in this sutra. Fear, anxiety, duality, conflict, they are all the images taking place in the mind. Ah, you see that? Anxiety is there. Let the mind create an image of peace and see what happens to the anxiety. There and then. Don't say that I am driving, I will go back home, I will practice meditation, then I will get rid of the anxiety. Why you have created so many thoughts in between anxiety and peace? In the second chapter, Patanjali talks of Ashtanga Yoga. We are not talking of Ashtanga Yoga. First chapter is for the seekers, higher level of the seekers who are committed. So whatever is seen in the mind, just say that it is thought, behavior, attitude, feeling, sensation, images in the mind. They are not you. They are separate from you. So now, another question. Another question comes. How, why the Patanjali says there are five-fold classification of thoughts, behavior, attitude. Vratti does not mean only thoughts. It means thoughts, behavior, attitude, feeling, sensation, Content of the mind. And they all are images. The Patanjali says that there are trillions and trillions of thoughts that are stored in the mind. We cannot get rid of all of them by counting. So hence, we can classify so that you can become aware this particular thought belongs to one of the fivefold classification. First classification, whatever is the fact perceived by, well, what is the fact perceived by? The mind and the sense organs based on our social understanding. You are a man, you are a woman, you are young, you are old. All these are facts. But when the mind distorts this perception, it becomes a wrong perception. So we have lot of thoughts that is moving in the mind all the time. Distortion of perception means what? Lara is Lara. For example, the moment I say 
Lara is bad. Lara is good. I don't see that good and bad except in the thoughts. That is a wrong perception. Then the mind starts dreaming, fancies, imagination. That is the third category of thoughts. Fourth category of thoughts are nothing but memory. What a beautiful dog Jerry has. And then the mind says, oh, I have seen the same kind of a dog last year, memory. Another painful memory. That dog attacked me. <laughs> you see the memory. That is how the mind is creating one image after the image. This week, just become aware that whatever is seen, felt, experienced is nothing but the images appear and disappear in your mind. You will come to know what it means by painful and the non-painful thought process going on into your mind. And I can tell you, if you do it from today, for about, a, even for two days, when we are going to meet on Thursday, you will see, you have dropped the burden. Tremendous burden. You will experience total lightness in the body. the body starts to become healthier and healthier. That is why one Upanishad says, now coming to the Gita, what Krishna, the originator of yoga, says with reference to this sutra. Manohi dividham proktam. Amrit Bindu Upanishad. There is Upanishad which says mind is of two types, pure and impure. Impure mind is caused by desire, liking, disliking. You know, these are the processes, how the thought enters into our mind, but behind it, the, that process is ashuddham kama sankalpam, the desire first, second is liking and disliking, third uh, is attachment and detachment, Fourth, delusion. Fifth, pride. Sixth, moh, mad, mat, mat, pride, ego. And the last one is jealousy, hatred. Or intense desire to live, but do not know why we are living. That is the meaning of what he says, Vrata yaha panchata yaha klesha, kleshta akleshta. So now coming to Krishna, what he says, Raga dvesha vimaktai. The moment you have Raga, means the attachment, become aware that it is image in the mind. Dvesha, detachment, disliking, image in the mind. Even if you dislike uh, the, the beard of the speaker, just say it is image in the mind. Liking, image in the mind. Hating, image in the mind. Appearing for an interview, the mind becomes anxious, Sam. It is image in the mind. Keep your goal intact and then see what happens. The mind will become empty and that emptiness will give you a glimpse of the real nature. Thoughts about the truth, the facts, based on the intellect, the first group of thoughts. Thought based on incorrect perception. Second category, thoughts without reality. Daydreaming, imagining. Then we have Sleep. Huh? When, why do you say one day that it's a good morning? Because something was going on in deeper sleep. Good thoughts were there. Bad thoughts were there. Then you say it's a bad morning. 
after waking up and the memory memory so can we do it every day that is our so what we are doing we will go deeper after a few sessions uh, into this mantra why we are creating we are putting another thought sarvesham swastir bhavatu well-being you see thought is a mantra with the meaning so we want to replace we want to break that cycle that circle where the mind is moving into pain pleasure anxiety duality conflict that is why i introduced this mantra well-being peace completeness and auspiciousness what is our goal natural state of the mind it is perfectly natural because mirror does not store any impression so what i'm saying translating my master used to say that you just see that your mind is a mirror and all these thought feeling behavior attitude is appearing as images and they come and they go i hold on to it who holds on to it who is this i ego sense the fifth one where the ego sense is come from the delusion that i am the doer and the enjoyer from where the doer and the enjoyer has come because of attachment and detachment from where the attachment and detachment has come liking and disliking from where the liking and disliking has come from the desire all our thoughts no i am joking am i not committed lara is there any relationship between commitment and distraction tell me <laughs> no i ask yourself hammer your mind hammer your mind and break that circle what is that circle vrataya panchataya klishta aklishta then you will smile even if you have 100 commitments why don't you share some commitment with me think of this think contemplate so when you reflect on this again and again one day you will discover that this whatever is seen seen means whatever is seen known felt experienced by the mind are nothing but the images appearing and disappearing in the mind mind is colorless it has no shape it has no gender huh then what happens anxiety outside stress outside duality this is what patanjali is explaining five fold we cannot count it but do i see the right perception finished this is one image right perception no problem incorrect perception i become aware this is an image memory and the mind becomes empty so this is one process that we are doing on mondays and thursdays and we are not looking for all those images we are looking for the seer on saturday session i cannot go into the saturday session if i understand if i have the right knowledge that is why i said who is the greater between the practice and the knowledge so answer is my master said practice is definitely greater what about the knowledge knowledge remains as it is there is nothing to be greater or lower knowledge is a knowledge if i know jerry so jerry will remain jerry so there is no greater there is no lesser so the practice takes us to that knowledge and that knowledge liberates us do you remember what i said uh, what master says 
Sya vidya sa vimukta The real knowledge is that knowledge which liberates us from suffering. Knowledge is knowledge. Once you have the knowledge, you are already liberated. Practice, it is under your control. You do the practice, you will get the result. You don't do it, you don't get the result. Do you see the difference? Practice. So we, we are going uh, in the next session. What exactly is the practice explained by Patanjali? So now let us start our journey of meditation. Eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. I believe you all are relatively free after, yes, after the session for a few more. No, you see commitment. Yes, no problem. Eyes are closed and looking at the body. Now see, looking at the body, is it knowledge and practice? <laughs> That is what we need to understand. We are going deeper. So you become aware of the body. When I say you become aware of the body, it is the knowledge. Practice comes when you are just in a line the body. You have freedom for the practice. Now look deep inside the heart in the space. What do you see in the space? The space. Pick up a point in the space. It is all about knowledge. I can pick up a point in the space. That point is an object in the mind. Why I picked up the point in the object? In Tantra, we say that Bindu, that point is the beginning of the entire thought process and the world outside. So I will pick up that topic later. So now we have been doing it. Get ready and let this mantra become a moving mantra in your life every day when you wake up in the morning. You are in the restroom. You are talking to somebody. You have been. So first line with me uh, listening, six, sit, uh, singing and listening in your mind. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu Sarvesham swastir bhavatu Are you becoming aware of the listening? You listen to your, your singing. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Do you need any other music from outside? My master, you say outer music, it may be good. It may influence your brain, but it does not change the mind. But when you listen to what you are singing, it creates new grooves in the mind. So second stage, we say, Singing, listening, and the meaning. Meaning is well-being. So you have a thought of a well-being as an image. That is what I explained to you. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu 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 Singing, listening, meaning and knowledge, applied knowledge. Which one is greater? Now you have a clear understanding. Knowledge is knowledge. Means what? Through the practice, I reached to the knowledge and the knowledge settled into me and it brings the change. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu 
स्वस्तिर्भवतु 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 व्हाट यू आर डूइंग सिंगिंग लिस्निंग मीनिंग एंड योर माइंड इज extracting the meaning sarvesham swastir bhavatu sarvesham swastir bhavatu second line simply singing and listening at that moment the mind should create an image of only singing and listening sarvesham shantir bhavatu शांतिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतु नाउ क्रिएटिंग एन इमेज व्हाट सिंगिंग लिस्निंग एंड मीनिंग मीनिंग इज पीस शांतिर्भवतु 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 नाउ एसेंस शांति यू सी दैट शांति where you see that shanti everywhere as peace sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu शांतिर्भवतु 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 थर्ड लाइन थ्री टाइम सिंगिंग एंड लिस्निंग पूर्ण and now six times singing listening and meaning meaning of purnam completeness i am complete in myself by this mantra i'm giving this thought feeling sensation awareness whatever it is whatever you want to say then what happens <clears throat> पूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्णमूर्ण
ईशां पूर्णम् भवति। Now the fourth line, singing and listening, सर्वेशां सर्वेशां मंगलम् भवतु सर्वेशां मंगलम् भवतु सर्वेशां मंगलम् भवतु मीनिंग ऑफ मंगलम ऑस्पिशियसनेस डू यू स्टिल रिमेम्बर that the well-being merges into peace. Well-being and the peace merges into wholeness. All the three merges into the auspiciousness. So we have a auspicious moment in our life at every moment. Here, not only doing the meditation, but everywhere, in every activity, in every thought, it is working behind. That is the goal. Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu 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 Sarve Shyam Mangalam I have already explained the very essence. Everything merges into auspiciousness. What is that auspiciousness? It is a moment of reckoning to knowing that of a real self inside. If you recall the Saturday session, approach is different. Here the approach is different. Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu Is there any need to be anxious, reactive, duality, conflict? No! I am in the auspicious moment. From where it has come? From inside. What it is? It is the knowledge. Does the knowledge change? See that. That is what we learn. Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Shyam Mangalam Bhavatu <coughs> Can you do a couple of times yourself? Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. First couple of times with the singing and meaning. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Singing, listening and meaning. Now. Shanti is the product of auspiciousness and the auspiciousness comes when <clears throat> well-being, peace and wholeness as an idea, even as an idea, as an awareness is working behind in the mind. Reaction is working in the behind and I control myself is that the life we want to live? Come on, my friends. We are seekers now. Now, if I said, now we will go deeper into the next step that we have been doing for the last two times. What did I say? When Imagine you wake up. You, are in a, you wake up from the deep sleep Pick up any mantra, any line. Sarve Sham Shantir Bhavatu. When I say, that is how the ma my master used to tell us. When you have understood whatever is seen, felt, experienced in the mind as images. Images? Imagine. So ask the mind to imagine you just woke up. And pick up the mantra. 
Sarvesham Purnam Havatu and wait, allow the auspiciousness to flow. Here and now. By imagination? Yes. Patanjali will explain in later sutras how imagination works. So, before going to sleep, think, imagine. You are going to sleep, switch off the light and pick up any mantra. Say to yourself, singing, listening, meaning and knowledge. Play with it. Now you wake up in the morning and the agenda of today comes into your mind. Put the mantra behind. Any mantra? Even Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti will do. Mind reminds you of a bitter memories. Put the mantra behind. That is the key in success to this practice. Put the mantra behind. Any mantra. And if the mind picks up the last one, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, become aware the peace, well-being and the wholeness is already there within me. What to fear? What to be anxious? What to be reactive? Now, any images appear in the mind. Why images or a thought or a feeling or a sensation appears in the mind? Because they are fivefold and because they are painful or non-painful. As my experience, anything appears with love, with care, with the singing, with the feeling, with meaning with an essence. Say to in your mind the last mantra Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu and start looking well-being, peace and wholeness. Can I say the mind brings, moves like a circle with all this crazy stuff and you are breaking the circle. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu The moment the mind realizes all these are images that appear in the mind, a sense of incompleteness, worries, reaction, distraction. And you, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, after saying the mantra, you live into that state of auspiciousness. There is a sudden upsurge of experiences in the form of a color, shapes, Vision, the body moves into tingling, numbness, freezing. Wait. Just imagine all the thoughts have gone from your mind. And the mind is still awake. That mind attracts the wholeness, well-being, peace, sense of emptiness, nothingness. Now see, when I experience colors and the visions, thought takes the form of a color, vision, 
of which we are not aware now, but later on, as we go deeper, we will become aware of it. That is why uh, I gave a brief reference of your experiences in the past. Casually looking at the crown of the head, walking the mind down inside the heart and dropping any mantra or simply Aum or Aum Shanti. Whatever comes to your mind with reference to the mantra Aum Shanti. Remember, knowledge practice. How long we have to practice until the knowledge dawns in my mind that I am whole, I am the peace, I am the well-being and I am the auspiciousness. Then can you ever say I am distracted? So moving, walking the mind from the crown of the head to the heart. Om Shanti or Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavati. The zone of peace in the silence is four inches above the crown of the head. So when you walk the mind down from the crown of the head, saying Om Shanti, it triggers and helps the peace descend down and you put it into the heart it spreads into the whole body that's a part of kundalini but i'm just explaining it happens in this way also <clears throat> in this meditation we move down from the top We don't struggle with moving upward from the lower to the higher center. I'm doing nothing, remain as you are.
Shanti 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 Beautiful meditation Om Shanti 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 We return in a way and then we will share our experiences followed by the questions. If you have any, bring your mind to the right hand. Your mind on the left hand. Raise both your palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside, know your experiences, bring the hands down. Let us start with our friend Lara. It was good, it was really quiet, there was no color, there was no shapes, it was just that's kind of there. I think for a moment, because it came from another meditation, I was doing, um, we went into the heart in this, or when we first started, my mind went into the heart, and I see this like little white being kind of standing there, very, very tiny. And then we started with the chanting, so it, I got more focused on that, and then it was just kind of quiet. We were breathing again, it was sort of That's a beautiful. coming back, and just quiet. Yeah. That's a beautiful. You see that I skipped nyasa, the very practice of breathing deeper. So when the mind lives with the knowledge and awareness based on the mantra, even we don't need that kind of a breathing. It's a beautiful, Lara. How are you, Terry? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. I'm good. I I just at the toward the end started to get to the a good place. Good place. Okay. And I was distracted, distracted by a lot of physical things. Hmm. So I just just followed the instruction. So I was just starting to get to where the it was working. Who knows the body? Who sees the body? Body is also an image in the mind. Just separate that body as an image in the mind. Let the body continue to move. You will remain in that state. At one point, I forgot I had the body. That's good. For a second. That's good. Yeah, and I, I was hard to breathe, and at that time I thought, I don't know whether I'm breathing or not. Well, I guess I must be. <laughs> 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 uh, she is good, isn't it, Jenny? <laughs> she is wonderful. <laughs> Very good. How are so? How are you, Stephen? Uh, I'm I'm good. It's 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 um, it was a very quiet meditation. I, no, it was muted, yeah. <laughs> I'm still muted? No, now I can go. hear you. Okay, there we go. Uh, it was, it was a very, it was a very good meditation. Uh, it was very quiet. Uh, it was very quick. Um, I, I've, I've embraced the, uh, the mantra. Um, I, I listen to it every single day. I, I Beautiful. Download, I've downloaded the, the mantra itself um, <laughs> off of my Spotify. Um, for me, you know, you know, the lesson um, really hit me because as we mentioned to the start, I'm, I'm trying to realize how to live 24 by 7 in the meditation. And what I'm getting out of, at least from today's and now, tying it all together is, is that we basically live our lives with these thought forms that we create. It's a beautiful and, understanding. And, 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 and if we can, if we could, what you've taught us 
in our recognizing the noise or the thoughts that pop into our, us during meditation, that those same um, desires, likes, dislikes, impressions, and all that other stuff that go on during the course of the day, that we could recognize that during the day where that much further in accomplishing this 24 by seven. So um, that's what I took out of that, the whole lesson to begin with, that, which set up my meditation experience to be very quiet, very still. Um, it was interesting because I felt the energy when we first started within my heart center and coming out of my body. And as I continue to, I chose to use the uh, Sarvasham um, mantra as my instead of the Om Shanti as I was dropping that and I felt the energy change from going from the top of my head to my heart um, creating this happiness every time I got to my heart um, so it, it, it was great thank you hi it encourages me inspires me to continue the journey the seeker alone succeeds it's a beautiful way the way you put it and one thing I am repeating it, this mind is born from the ignorance and it must remove that ignorance. Since our birth, first dependence of pleasure or happiness, can you imagine? The mother fed us the milk, we were crying, and we were happy. We were not conscious as an individual, but we started gathering impressions in the mind that happiness is outside. Do you see that? And as we grew older and older, we, the mind says happiness is always outside, always outside. And because it is outside, it perceives millions of things, objects, people, place, and then it continues its journey. That creates a vicious circle of ignorance, and that can be broken by easily by this mantra in the meditation. And that is what you have not only understood. I'm so happy. But how are you, Sam? I'm good. Um, I would uh, describe this as, as quick and quiet as well. Um, I think last week when uh, we got out of one of the meditations, I described my thoughts as um, flies that I was swatting away. I would say today... Um, is the evolution of me noticing my consciousness more. Uh, they were just stuttering away. They weren't, I didn't have to do anything. They just went away. That is the I way. I forgot about them. I heard them, kind of chuckled at them, and then they were gone. Um, so I think that's just part of the evolution. And, and, uh, yeah. That's Great. beautiful. As at this young age, if you have that deeper understanding and clarity, it will make the future life much better, much calmer, peaceful. That is what, you know, we should understand. You see that instead? I'm not saying that, you know, don't keep rock and roll music with you. I'm saying introduce this also into your life. So when you even introduce this in your life, it brings a change. It brings a tremendous change. And how are you, Jerry and David? Um, very good meditation. Um, the, the mantras, I just, um, at some point through the mantras, I just got lost in them. And I, I just was deep somewhere. I wasn't asleep, but I was deep somewhere. And then... The next thing I know is that you, um, I think you stopped the recording and that kind of like jolted me out of it and then you went into the, uh, uh, yeah. the closing part. So it was a very 
deep. Very deep. You see, David uh, made uh, one point that he is lost in the mantra. And now ask yourself where we are normally lost. I'm excited. I have to do a lot of things, you know. Today I am very busy. Today I have to do this thing. I am into anxiety. I am running. I'm... Two kind of being lost. I am lost in daily in these activities. And when you are lost in the mantra, make a choice. I'm not saying that you don't do your activities. You work, but introduce behind, in the mind. And once you introduce, the life changes. How are you, Jerry? Mm, so it was good meditation. It was um, quiet as well. Um, the mantra I'm doing all the time. I, I do it sometimes to break thought pattern, and then I do it as well just to be doing it um, for the um, intention and essence of it. That's good. And um, when we were doing the mantra after when we began the oming, I had a very cold feeling throughout from above the crown all the way down and, and heavy, but super cold. Um, and then just the sutra, I love the sutra, uh, the message of the sutra, because, you know, we, all of us have experiences and um, we can, they can either cause pain and suffering or not. Not. And so we have the choice, right? We have the choice. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and we know that we have the peace inside of us, so it's not outside. Yes, I want to make it without recording. What happens? You all are seekers, and uh, uh, definitely. So what happens in a deeper meditation, uh, especially this kind of a meditation, you start experiencing as if a fluid mass starts dipping from the top of crown of the head into the spine. And as it dips inside, it spreads into the entire, every cell of the body. So you have that a sense when you said that you started feeling the coolness. Huh? That coolness started uh, moving down. And that's a reality. One master, Arvindo, while explaining the Upanishad of uh, these experiences, he says that it is the peace, consciousness that dips down from the crown of the head to the entire body. And the time comes, it remains. You remain alive of that peace all the time. And when you remain alive of that peace all the time, then what happens? Then all the thoughts that are coming from outside becomes a play and a fun. That is the nature of our journey. We are going deeper. Thank you all for your support. Even Terry is supporting me by explaining huh? and going beyond the challenges. So it inspires me. So, <laughs> so any question, Sam, continue to do it. Uh, it is going to evolve. You rightly said. It helps you to evolve to a higher consciousness. And when you evolve into a higher consciousness, it gives you the right perspective in life. Right perspective in life. Now, any question that you like to ask? Yeah. I want... <clears throat> um, so... I guess this goes along the same vein of what I was just talking about, but I think uh, 
uh, my uncle Stephen and I were uh, reflecting a little bit over the weekend, and I, I had a question that I uh, don't think I've been able to answer. So you have your thoughts coming in, and they're not part of your conscious because they just show up, right? You're not, you're not creating them. They create themselves, and they come in. So...